Christmas evening, everyone. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you've had a good day. Now it's time for Christmas in the kitchen with Heather. So what I'm going to do is do little short video clips and show you how I'm preparing my Christmas meal this year. It's just me and Casper, so that's okay. I already had family Christmas last week with family, and we had fun. We even built a puzzle together. <laughs> so I hope you're doing well, and let's get started. So I'm going to do chicken legs, and I am putting peppers in from the garden. I'm putting lemon balm in from the garden, parsley from the garden, rosemary, I'm adding a bit of ground cumin, a little bit of garlic pepper, some lemon pepper seasoning, and some broccoli. So let's get this seasoning done on the chicken. I will also be pouring ah, some reduced sodium chicken broth on there. All right, y'all. So let's do just a little bit of cumin. It can get a little spicy. So just a bit on each side of the chicken. Here we go. And I am leaving the skin on just for the flavor. Okay, cumin, done. Now, for the garlic pepper, I guess I should have taken the lids off first. That's okay though, y'all. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of this. I really like the garlic taste in my foods. Besides, garlic's good for ya. There we go. Okay, and you should, I haven't done it yet, but you should go ahead and preset your oven to 375. I'm going to start with it being kind of smaller, just the chicken legs. I'm going to start at 40 minutes, and then it may have to go up to an hour. Excuse the spice in the way. <laughs> it may have to go up to an hour, and I am going to cook it in my wonderful cast iron skillet. I love my cast iron. Anybody else have a cast iron that they enjoy to cook with? Because I love cooking with mine. Okay, I will be back and show you what it all looks like together in the cast iron skillet before it goes into the oven. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like getting ready to go into that preheated oven. Again, 375 for 45 minutes. And while we're doing that, we're going to get the other stuff ready. All right, y'all, so the next item on the list are mashed potatoes. So I've peeled the others, about to peel this one. This will be our last potato to go in because I don't need very many potatoes just for me. So get that. There we go. Get this side. And this part right here. And then what I do is I make sure I got plenty of water in there because what I do is start a start them on high and get them boiling really good and then once they're to a good boil I go ahead and put them on low and I let them cook slow while I am waiting on the chicken so they're all nice and soft and they're set so here we go put them in our good old pot of water and then don't cut them too terribly small because they're going to be in there for a while. There we go. There's that one bigger potato. Get the next one. Here we go. And that's a Casper cat in the background all hyper. If you watch the garden tour right here, 
you'll see <laughs> why he's a little hyper today. <laughs> Here we go. And one more potato. And again, just being by myself today. Don't need a ton. I've got Jason on in the background on video chat. And while he's waiting for me to finish cooking everything up, he is enjoying time with friends online. And we do that a lot. <laughs> we'll, we'll do separate things, but still be able to go and say hi to each other. I just the way of long distance, y'all. <laughs> so let me show you what the potatoes look like. Haven't put any seasoning on them yet. I will do that. Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, let me bring you down. There we go. That's what the potatoes look like in the pot. So I don't put any seasoning until about the last 10 minutes. And then I put all the seasoning in. And I'll do the lemon pepper, garlic pepper, and the cumin. So let me put these on the stove and I'll show you what's next on the Christmas meal list. All right, y'all. So the next thing on the Christmas meal today is very, very easy. I got me some yams already in their juice. And now I'm not pouring the juice off. <laughs> not going to do that. But I will Let me get this here. I am adding some butter to them. Just a few little pieces of butter. And then one of my favorite things to add, because they're already sugary, is cinnamon. Now I will, and y'all, I do add a lot of cinnamon. Sorry for people that don't like cinnamon too bad. And then at the very end, about the last five minutes in the oven, I will put marshmallows on. <laughs> so let's see what the yams look like before the marshmallows and before they're cooked. There they are, y'all. So I'll get the next item ready and show you what I'm going to have. Uh, not the last one, but next to last thing for my Christmas meal. And I forgot to tell you on the yams, I've got them in the same, excuse the hair today, ow. I've got them on the same temperature, 375, with the chicken, and they're just cooking right beside the chicken in their own container. And I will leave them in there until the chicken's done, which is about 30 minutes now, y'all. All right, y'all, so the next item on the list is Jiffy Cornbread. We're in this house. I don't want rolls. I want cornbread. <laughs> so we're just going to do what it says on the box. Pour the whole box of cornbread once I get it open, y'all. <laughs> Pour this box of cornbread right in the mixing bowl. There we go. That's done. Okay, then we have our egg, just one egg, and do your best not to get any shell in there. Okay, good, no shell. And then our last thing is a third a cup of milk. Here we go. We'll add a little bit of vinegar to that because that milk is just about to go. Okay. It's almost there. Not quite. Oh, you know what? We'll add salt. That's right. I forgot. It's salt that helps counteract that. I got some pink Himalayan salt right here. So we'll do that. Not that side, y'all. That was the bigger side. Just a little bit, not much. Okay, now, sometimes you just use a fork for a good old stirring tool. Go, get it stirred 
that grow well. Make sure you get all that corn meal mixed in real well. Okay. Then, it says at 400, for 8 to 10 minutes, let's see what our time, ah, we're at 28 minutes on the chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the little muffin tins. Because again, it's just me, so I don't need much. Pour it in here. And I got a six count muffin tin. And if I'm doing it for more people, I like to do it in the cast iron skillet. But today it's me. Okay. Just about there. And it sounds like potatoes are boiling in the background. There we go. And if you notice, you have an extra little tin left over. Then what you do is you put just a little bit of water in that tin. Just a little bit. And I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, you see that steam from those potatoes back there? <laughs> Here we go. So see, there's the water there. And then the rest of the tins are full with cornmeal for that good old Jiffy cornbread. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'll be back when the last items are ready. All right, y'all. So the last item is the chicken broth gravy. So all I do is pour a bit of chicken broth off of the meat we already had and add just a little bit of flour and mix it all together until it's all boiled. So I will be back so you can see the final product on the plate with everything. Right y'all, so everything's ready. Yay! and lettuce out of the garden included.